Hey guys, another day, another reselling Q&A. I feel like crap today. Just in case you guys are like, Vanessa, your energy, your energy isn't there. I feel like crap today. For the past like couple of weeks now, everyone in the house has been sick off and on. No, it's not COVID. I don't know what has been going on. It's been like fevers, runny noses, sore throats. But yeah, it's just been a rough couple of weeks and I'm ready for summer. Tomorrow's actually the kids' last day of school, which is so exciting. Um, I need to get back into filming videos more regularly. Our nanny started and I've just been kind of like preoccupied with that. Preoccupied, preoccupied. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm trying to figure out a good summer schedule, but I'm gonna get back into like pre-filming videos. You guys take care, take care. I'm just telling you guys random info. Let's get into the questions. One of my listings had a yellow reserved sign and then it disappeared. Do you know what that means? So yes, if you are like looking at your closet and you see that one of your listings has a yellow sign in the lower right hand corner, it says reserved. That means that somebody's in the process. This says, <laughs> I can't talk. <sighs> it means that someone is in the process of purchasing that item. If the sign is there, then it disappears and it doesn't turn into a sold sign. That means that something happened during the checkout process or they changed their mind. When it says reserved, no one else can purchase that item. So it's kind of a bummer if someone, you know, was in the process of purchasing it and maybe they changed their mind or their card gets declined or whatever the reason is. And then somebody else can't purchase that while they're purchasing it. So that's kind of frustrating. Um, but yeah, that's what that means. All right, oh my gosh, I've been gotten, been gotten, been gotten, been gotten. I have received a lot of messages from you guys asking my opinion on the current whatnot drama. This person says, what do you think of all the whatnot drama? I would love to hear your opinion. Okay, so if you guys don't know, whatnot is a newer platform. It's an app where you can sell things. It's in the form of a live auction style. A lot of resellers are on it now. Um, I want to say Harry Tornado was the first like big reseller that I saw on there, and then Rally Roots jumped on, and now like everyone is on whatnot. So I actually applied a while ago to be a seller, and then I just never heard anything, and then I just reapplied about a week ago and actually just got accepted yesterday. They have like a an onboarding process where you have to do like a 30 minute zoom call and I'm like trying to fit that into my schedule. I'm like, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, it's really popular right now. There are a lot of resellers on there. I have been to a couple of live shows, auctions, whatever the hell you want to call them, but I have not purchased anything on there. Again, I haven't sold on there yet, so I don't really know too much about that part. What I do know is that they have a pretty great affiliate program and a lot of these bigger resellers are joining because of that pretty great affiliate program. If you sign up under them, they get, I think it's $10 and then you get $10 and then they have like certain levels that they can hit and they get bonuses. Like if they recruit, I think like a hundred sellers, I think it is, they get $200 and then they can earn up to like $20,000, which is nuts. So if you see your favorite reseller promoting it, just know that they're promoting it because they earn money. If they're not telling you that they earn money from that, that's actually illegal. That is breaking FTC laws. I talked about this on Instagram a little bit. I think that part is fucked up, that's shady. If you're an influencer and you have a relationship with a brand and you are making money from that relationship, you need to disclose that. You need to tell your audience that you're making money in some sort of way, whether it's a hashtag ad on your Instagram post, whether you verbally say it. Some influencers on Instagram will do like hashtag ad, but it'll be like in the very bottom right hand corner and like the smallest text possible. It's like, what? That's so fucked up. Like, why are you being shady? Just tell people you're making money from this. That's what's kind of going on with whatnot. Like, I don't care if people make money online. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, I think it's great. It's amazing that you can make money on social media, but do it in a right way. Do it the legal way. Like, you can actually get fined from the FTC. Like, you can get fined. The brand can get fined for not disclosing your relationship. If you're doing it the legal way, if you're honest about it, I have no problem with that. It's the shady people that I have problems with and there are unfortunately are a lot of shady people on whatnot. That's my thoughts, that's my thoughts. Um, like I said, I have been accepted to be a seller. I gotta figure out when I can do the onboarding and then I'm gonna try it out and see how it is. I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you guys, let you guys know how it is. Next question, I know you said you don't give out your sourcing places, but would you ever think about starting a Patreon to give out those places? Like we pay you for that info and then you'd offer tips and tricks that you think are worth money. Um, okay, so maybe. I would never start a Patreon and be like, guys, guys, I know the secret to reselling. I can tell you guys how to make 50 sales every day. Just join my Patreon. I would never do that because 
that's just lying. <laughs> There's no secret. There really is no secret to reselling. Um, it's just a lot of hard work and there's just a lot that goes into reselling. There's no big secret on how to make sales. There really isn't. And if someone's telling you that they're lying, they just want your money. As far as making a Patreon, I would maybe do that, but I would just be telling you guys, yeah, maybe like more information that I give on YouTube, like maybe telling you guys my sourcing places. I always thought I would feel like guilty for charging people. Like Instagram has this new like subscription thing and I don't know I never wanted to do anything like that because I would feel guilty I think like why should I be charging these people to listen to me talk <laughs> you know but I mean I am you know using my time and energy to do this so maybe I don't know again I wouldn't be like sketchy about it I wouldn't be like guys I'm gonna tell you like super top secret information maybe I will can you do videos on Patreon? I know nothing about Patreon. Is it just posts? I know nothing about it. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna do some research and I'll get back to you. That is it for this video. I hope I answered your questions. If you have any other questions, you can comment down below or send me a DM on Instagram. If you're new to Poshmark and you want to sign up, you can use my code. It is keeping it rad. You get a $10 credit and I also get a $10 credit. So thank you. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.